Well, here we are. <coughs> nice flash jumper for doing some work. What we're going to do is start disassembling this and seeing what it's like on the inside and uh, take it from there basically. Um, start cleaning it up and we shall do a mild restoration. So I'll just change the camera angle. Right, so we're set up. First thing we'll do, undo the clips, remove the lid. There she is on the inside. About what I expected. The seal's okay. It's pliable, that's good. Air filter. Hmm. I think that has seen better days. Especially when we compare it to a new one. See the difference? It's only slight, but it's there. So that can go up right down there. Inside of here, not too bad. The usual uh, oil from uh, the breathers, otherwise, it's reasonable. We've got this here, which I'll take off. That's about all I can disassemble it, apart from taking the hose off. Which will need cutting off by the feel of that. That is not. It is moving. Right. Probably should get a new one anyway. But as you see, it's um, well used. So that's that. I'll do that last. Now the other thing I can take off, like I said, is is this thing here, so what's that? 8 mil, 10 mil. We've got that seven, eight. Yes, it's an 8. And the little things in ratchet drivers and spanners. I really should have put gloves on, shouldn't I? Never mind. It'll wash off. So, oil. Oh, that one's tight. Things were made out of metal, not plastic. So you can actually refer them quite easily. And well, this. Oh, that, that just falls off nicely. And there's another filter in there. Okay. Which is oil. I don't know if you can see that. Try this can. That needs something doing with it. Even a bit of grass in there. Okay. I'll have to research that one. Now, one way to get this clean is to use a kerosene bath, which I'll have to fabricate. I don't know what I can use. I shall return. Right, I've fabricated a kerosene bath with an old plastic tub and a bit of caro. Got a brush. I'll start on this bit because it looks easier. So, let's see what we can do. And I remember to put some gloves on. Oh, that's working a treat already. Good old camera. I wonder if I can burn it in the uh, camera heater. Probably not. A little piece of green scour. Let's see if we go with this. No, 
I'll do a G there. Well, if you can hear that, there's a rooster somewhere. Somebody's got a rooster in one of the houses around here. You must think it's morning. It's about three o'clock in the afternoon, really. That's probably no, that's rust or not. Yeah, that's a bit of rust. Okay. We're gonna have to deal with that. Is it coming through the other side? Nope. Okay, now where do I start with this? take it off but who wants to drill the rivets and mess with that it's not such a serious job metallic strip which is in theory supposed to move the inlet flap according to the engine temperature. I doubt that it works. Not that we need it in Australia. It doesn't get that cold really. Not like the UK or Europe. Right. Let's try. I was thinking a bit like a banjo.
I can see metal bits coming off now, so I'm through the paint. There's still some rust on this side, and there's still some on the outer rim. Well, I've gone about as far as I can using the mechanical uh, drill and the wire brush. So I've got some 180 grit, just going to give it a wax over. And then when that's done, dust it off and we'll put some rust converter on it and let that do its thing. Which I don't know how long that takes actually, some of them take 24 hours, don't they? What does this one say? Uh, Right, we're now putting some of this on. I thought I'd use a toothbrush because it might just help get it in there. Not need a lot of it. Good general coating and let it do its thing. Handily, the toothbrush fits inside the neck of the bottle, too. I don't think I'm going to get time to do the whole assembly today. But if I'm lucky, <coughs> should be able to finish this part today. I do have some other jobs to do around the house before it goes dark. But uh, we'll see how we go. I can do some of them while this is curing. And I'll take it from there. Okay, gonna hit it with a little bit of primer. This is some left over from doing one of my wheels earlier. I've given it a wipe over and I've put some masking tape over the uh, seal just to help protect it when I do that side. Now I know usually you hang these up from wires and do that, but there's a few flies outside already and it's not that warm. I'd rather be in here next to the heater. So I'm just going to give it a white dusting and see where we go. Off. Turn it around a bit. Looking better already. Turn it up around, isn't it? Yeah, you can see a few scratches in there, but that's okay. When the bonnet's close, you don't see it, do you? That's a good excuse. I can use that for the engine when it doesn't work. So here we go. We've got this uh, satin silver. Uh, 
Ja. Give it a good shake. That should be okay. Right. Here we go. That's almost like the original. Which is the idea really, isn't it? Unless you want to paint it a funny colour. Just do these edges. Okay. Just let that dry. And then we'll give it another bit of a coat. It says 10 minute dry. But that's looking pretty good. It's not looking perfect, but then the car isn't perfect either. The car's a 1988 car, so it's got a few uh, miles under the clock, shall we say. Yes, I'm rather happy with that. Right, I've given it another coat off camera. As you can see, that's pretty good. I have used the heat gun just to speed things along, but it's not such a warm day today. But uh, I'm rather pleased with that. So now we're going to do this side and see how we go with that. off and then we'll uh, do it again. Here we go. Oh, that up. Never mind. Right. Uh, quick. Let's do it. Shiny. Well, it's a few days later, and as you can see. We're all done. I think the last bit of video I, I shot was just spray painting uh, this. So uh, now it's a case of putting it all back together. So I think the first thing I'll do is put this on. As you can see that's not too bad. It's not meant to be a full restoration, it's just a refreshing and making a refreshing, a refreshment and just making it look a little bit better so uh, it's going to be a little bit more pleasant to look at when I open the bonnet that one doesn't want to go, what's wrong with you? maybe a bit of paint in the thread there we go so it's not uh, rocket science doing this I would use a socket, but I can't find my 7mm. If I had one, I think I had one. Sorry, this is an 8mm. What am I saying? 8mm's disappeared. Oops. A 
it's probably rolled off somewhere under one of the cars at some point and I just haven't found it. One thing I have done in the meantime, I got a rush of blood to the head yesterday after I spray painted this and I quickly changed a hose on the car which I've, I've just put on a post actually on the community post on the YouTube channel um, the hose that was on there so I've got the old hose here actually I can show you I'll just finish this that's the old hose there goes from the uh, cooling system to the carburetor for the auto choke as you can see it's uh, I that's in focus on it. I'll try it on this one as you can see it's a little uh, worse for wear bulging rock solid in there with some crowding on the coolant so uh, that have got a quick change made a difference I ran the engine up briefly just to make sure there was no leaks but I didn't bring it up to full temperature mainly because I've been working at the back of the garage here and I would fumigate myself oh I might have overdone that is that not even quite bright? Hello. A bit windy outside, the gloves are falling down. There we go. Just slightly out of alignment. Come on, grab. You can do it. Oh. So you can do it, but you didn't do it. Let's try this one. The wind's picking up this afternoon. It's Monday afternoon, by the way. I've done the office work this morning. Caught up with myself. Some of the jobs that are selected, <coughs> excuse me, selected for later this afternoon. I managed to do this morning. Where did the other one go? I just had it. There it is. So I thought, right, I'll come out here and put this together. And given a chance, I'll edit the video today and upload it possibly today. Let's we'll see how things pan out. So this isn't a big job. It's, uh, Trying to get it so you can actually see what I'm doing. Not that it's really interesting, is it? Let me get a nice seal on that. And yes, this is the right way around. I did look at a photo. <laughs> I forgot which way it went on. So I looked at the photo that I took previously of the car with it in situ. There we go. I'll go back there before I lose it. Right. Now these clips can be reinstalled. assistance of a screwdriver here. Uh, let's see how we go. Yes I will. I'll just grab one. A little stubby might do it. Oop. I can hear somebody's got some chickens over the back there. Must be lying a bit, a bit noisy. Oh, that's too short, so it's going to hurt my fingers. Where's one of those other ones? Where did I put it? I had it earlier. Oh, I see. I see. Be easy with 
these. There we go. That's one. That's two. That one went in easy, didn't it? Uh, that's because they are slightly together. Go. That way around. There we go, it was easier than a screwdriver. Okay. Now there's no point putting the oil filter in. Don't filter. Air filter. Really? Is there? So we'll put the new one in. And the bin under the bench. Look at that. Almost like a new one. Providing they made new ones that looked used. Arrow to arrow. housing with a new filter and one old bit of hose which I'll put on there for now so I can get a new one there we go job done should look pretty schmick under there, shouldn't it? I won't show you now because I've, I've got a rag stuffed down the carburetor to keep the dirt out. But uh, yeah, certainly looks better than it did before I started. <laughs> 